वेव जेनरेशन वॉट इज अ वेस्ट स्टूडेंट वेस्ट इज एनी सबस्टेंस विच इज डिस्कार्डेड आफ्टर प्राइमरी यूज और इट इज वर्थलेस डिफेक्टिव एंड ऑफ नो यूज एवर सिंस द ह्यूमन सोसाइटी हैज बीन इवॉल्विंग with huge population growth there have been ever increasing demand for the primary needs of food shelter and clothing etc this has led to the rapidly increasing size and number of towns cities large agricultural fields storage godowns factories interconnecting roads railways and so on with these there has also been increasing use of electricity firewood petroleum and even nuclear energy all this is leading to more and more human body waste livestock waste discarded equipments agricultural waste etc efficient methods for their disposal are being continuously improved categories of waste broadly there are five major categories of waste domestic waste given out from homes industrial waste given out from factories thermal plants etc agricultural waste that is left behind after obtaining the consumable parts municipal waste which includes the overall waste given out from the township and e waste which is electronic waste from electrical and electronic equipments domestic waste number 1 kitchen waste well kitchen waste includes several items such as peelings of vegetables and fruits shelves taken off from groundnuts and other dry fruits and from eggs which should be a part of your morning breakfast well washing of pulses rice etc before cooking any stale or rotten non usable food items used tea leaves any leftovers in the food dishes plastics plastic packings and wrappings discarded used and broken plastic objects including toys etc glass broken glass utensils mirrors containers window panes electric bulbs rags a huge variety of waste pieces of cloth torn towels handkerchiefs etc old bed sheets blankets cushions discarded worn out clothing and footwear curtains and so on some of these are reused by the poor or are sold off to the radhiwalas paper the daily newspapers and magazines are a very common waste which are generally sold off to radhiwalas who pass them on for a variety of use such waste paper is even recycled for their reuse in some way in paper industry plastic waste a boon or a curse some kind of plastics can be recycled but not all of them Did you notice that polythene bags and some plastics do not rot? You might now easily understand why polythene bags create a big problem in garbage disposal. 
it may be a little difficult to imagine our life without plastics. Shall we list a few things we use that are made of plastics? Toys, shoes, bags, pens, combs, toothbrushes, buckets, bottles, and water pipes. The list is very long. The use of plastics in itself might not create so much of a problem. Problems arise when we use plastics excessively and are ignorant about ways of disposing their waste. This is what is happening all around us. We might even be acting irresponsibly, knowing well about its harmful effects. We often use plastic bags to store cooked food items. Sometimes these bags may not be suitable for keeping eatables. Consuming food packed in such plastic bags could be harmful to our health. Many a time shopkeepers use plastic bags that have been used earlier for some other purpose. Sometimes bags collected by rack pickers are also used after washing them. Use of such recycled plastic bags to keep food items could be harmful to our health. For storing eatables, we must insist on use of plastic bags that are approved for such a use. All kind of plastics give out harmful gases upon heating or burning. These gases may cause many health problems, including cancer in humans. The government has also laid down guidelines for recycling of plastics. You must have noticed that people often fill garbage in plastic bags and then throw it away. When stray animals look for food in these bags, they end up swallowing these. Sometimes they die due to this. The plastic bags thrown away carelessly on roads and other places get into drains and the sewer system. As a result, rain gets choked and the water spills on the roads. During heavy rains, it might even create a flood-like situation. There is a lot of harm that too much of plastics can do. Industrial Waste Mining Operations There are hundreds of mines in India alone and thousands in the world which extract copper, silver, gold, zinc, iron, coal, etc. Huge quantities of waste are produced while processing them. Such waste is usually called mine tailing, that is the leftover. The mine tailing mixed with other materials can be used for making tiles, machinery cement, etc. Cement Industries The waste given out may be solid, liquid and gaseous. The solid waste are either used in construction activities or dumped in landfills. The liquid waste including wash-offs are treated to remove harmful substances and then released into the rivers, ponds, lakes or sea. The gaseous waste includes the fly ash, which consists of fine solid particles of non-combustible ash carried out of a bed of solid fuel by a draft. It can be used for making a variety of building materials like bricks, concrete, roofing sheets, oil refineries. While refining crude oil, 
a lot of poisonous gases and liquid waste are produced. Gaseous waste is cleaned by passing through cleaners and purified part is released into the atmosphere. The liquid waste are processed and suitably dumped. Construction Units These produce huge quantities of waste stones, pebbles, broken bricks, wood waste, etc. Mostly, these are dumped in landfills. This is particularly a huge waste in large towns and one sees heaps of landfills in the suburbs. 